Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be hopping on today to do another video with my Angle Rabbits. Um, I'm going to bring in, today I'm working on all of my white rabbits um, to get a good collection of white um, fiber. And I thought I'd bring you along. It's been a really long time. I'll, I'll have to look back. I have done grooming videos and spinning in videos. I'm not sure if I've done one from start to finish where I bring the rabbit in, groom him, and then card the fiber and spin it all in the same video. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So this will be, um, this will take me most of the day to get done just because I'm going to do it in bits and pieces. Um, but for those of you who are new here, welcome. I am Renee. I am a fiber artist. Um, I spin, knit, crochet, dye yarn. I'm a, I am a spin illusion wheel dealer and um, I make these videos to educate people on all things spinning and Angora rabbits, which I raise. Um, right now I raise English, French, and German Angoras um, and make mainly 100% um, Angora yarn with all of it and then make products out of it. So um, welcome, I'm glad you're here. We've had a lot of new people. I'm, I don't think, this had happened yet on my last video, but I finally hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Um, and I'm super excited about that because I've been working towards that goal. Um, that was one of my goals for 2023 was to hit that. Um, and I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. I've, I've got to get that planned out here in the next um, few weeks. I just hit it on Friday, I think I hit 1,000 subscribers. So thanks to all of you for helping me to get to that goal. Um, if you do watch the videos and aren't subscribed yet, could you please click that subscribe button because that does help me. Um, and yeah, so I am going to, um, I'm going to be pausing the video. I'll put it all together at the end, but I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go get rid of um, one of my white rabbits and bring um, her in and I'm going to groom her and I'm probably I'm not going to talk during it I think I'm going to speed it up and put some music to it um, because it could take me 20 to 30 minutes just to get her groomed um, so I think that's how I'm going to do this and then I will do the same thing with the carding part and the same thing with the spinning part so it'll be bits and pieces um, and then maybe at the end, I'll pop in some videos of the baby Angora rabbits that are growing up um, quite quickly. They are getting ready to head to their homes here in the next couple weeks. Um, so I will do that. So hold tight. Okay, guys, real quick. Um, I have brought Marshmallow in this morning. She is a red-eyed white French Angora she is not quite a year old she was born last september and she has a tendency to be a bit feisty with me <laughs> she has her own personality um she was the one that i actually had in the little colony um fenced in area in our garage there and she was the one that was jumping like three feet up to get over it so she's got a little spunk to her so i thought i'd start with her this morning um, I've showed these tools a hundred times, but I know there's new people here again. So um, these are my basic tools. I have just a um, toenail clipper, just a dog or cat toenail clipper. Um, this is my favorite comb. It's got the double tines that are different um, lengths. You can find these on Amazon. I've linked this before in other videos. And I have these scissors. Um, I know they look really pointy. But I am very careful and I've been doing this a very long time and I like the slant to them um, and I will show you when I trim her if I have to trim her. I am actually not going to. I was going to start oh, I was going to start um, shearing everybody down and when I say shearing I typically don't use um, electric shears I use this but I take them right down um, close to the skin but it is May 1st and we have little snowflakes on the weather app for the next two days so um it's cold here today so i am not gonna start um, doing that quite yet um, as long as i don't have to i'm going to just comb her today probably and clip out um, this is what i would use to take out any mats or anything like that on her feet or around her 
Um, a lot of times they get mats right in between their ears here. Um, it seems to mat up, so that's what I use that for. And the non-grooming tool but is necessary is a lint brush. Um, I do not waste my money on the peel and stick ones. They don't work. Um, go to like the laundry section at Walmart or something and find an old-fashioned um, lint brush is what I use. So. Um, I'm going to shift this down and get started with grooming.
guys, um, I got that done. I showed you how I did her nails. I did do the back nails um, off camera because I couldn't see well enough. Sorry, that hurt my mouth. <laughs> um, um, and so uh, that took me just about 20 minutes, just a little bit less than 20 minutes. And I ended up with just over, um, it's like six tenths of an ounce. This is all the fiber that I got off from her. Now, um, typically with my fiber, I will take this um, right from my, if I've combed them, I will spin this straight to my wheel. And I'll show that here in a minute. But I do have a bunch of clipped fiber over here. And I wanna show you the difference when you have clipped fiber versus um, combed fiber. I don't know if you can see, but you end up with blunt ends. Let me see if I can find. Um, there's some blunt ends right there. They're, they're very straight and you end up with pieces like this where they're just blunted off. Um, and so that's typically when I like to card it. Here's a good example. That's what it looks like when it's clipped. This has good staple length on it, um, but it does get very blunt right there. And so I like to card this. Uh, so I, I'm gonna set this aside. And yes, these, uh, this little thing really, really comes in handy when you're doing this. It picks it up and takes it right off. And like I said, this is my favorite tool. I've tested a couple other different ones that they've come out with recently, but that's still my favorite. So with the um, clipped fiber that I have in this basket down here, and I have quite a bit of it actually, I'm gonna be working on a project with um, actually all of this. I have, how many white rabbits do I have now? I have two baby white, um, red-eyed whites. Um, one of them is already sold, but I do have another one. I may end up keeping um, him or her. And so I have four other adult um, French Angoras that are red-eyed whites. And so um, I am going to be starting a project. Um, this is a project I've wanted to work on for a long time, and I have not. And so I'm going to be using a lot of my white rabbits right now. And I may, um, coming up here, I may be um, breeding for some white rabbits because it's my understanding, which again, that's my hopes for this summer is that I'm going to be able to do a color and genetics um, kind of information for you guys, but I have to learn it first. But it's my understanding if you were to take two red-eyed whites, you're going to get red-eyed white babies. Um, and I am thinking about doing that because I am in need of some serious white yarn right now. And so... Plus with the white, it's super nice to dye it. Um, there's no, you can dye all colors of Angora, but oftentimes if you like dye a gray, you're gonna get those undertones of the gray to some degree um, on your on your yarn. You're gonna see that, that undertone of the gray or brown or whatever, um, beige. So, so I just, actually I didn't show you what I just did, so I will do that again. Um, but I am just taking my two carters, and this is actually a great arm workout <laughs> because it takes some um, muscle to do this. So I run it through, and then I switch hands. I run it through about three times. I pass it um, from one comb to the other about three times, and then that gets it. Um, the fibers are nice and lined up. It kind of takes out. It does take out, not kind of. It, it takes out that blunt edge. Um, so when I'm spinning, um, you don't see that the bluntness of that edge coming through on your spinning with a bump or anything like that. Um, that's two. You see how nice they look, and you can see that halo. And So I'm essentially just taking the fiber from the left card and putting it on the right card by combing it or carding it. Um, and if you do not, don't want to jump into regular carders or can't afford to, 
um, I simply started out with two dog flicker combs, little paddle combs, um, and they do the job just fine too. So there's that. That's three times, and I'm gonna take it and put it between my legs here, and I'm just gonna roll it off. Um, and this has a little bit of um, vegetable matter in it that I'm gonna have to pull when I spin. So I essentially end up with just a little roll leg. It's not real tight, um, but I'm gonna spin straight from those. So let me show you once more, because I didn't show you how I got it onto the carter. So I just take a handful, and I just brush it across back and forth as I fill up the carter. And then once it really can't take any more, I go back to carting. That is that. So you've seen the grooming, you've seen the carding, and now I'm gonna flip you around. I'm gonna set up one of my Spinolution wheels. I think I'm gonna use the Echo for this. Um, no reason why, I just, um, I've, I'm really enjoying my two new wheels and I have them all sitting here. So I'm gonna pull the Echo up and I'm gonna do some video of me spinning. I'll show you spinning, um, the carded fiber I just did, and I'll also show you the um, combed fiber that I just took off the rabbit. I am not gonna spin all the, or film all of the spinning, because it it legit is gonna take me a, probably a couple hours to get all of this white done. Um, I am going to spin it, a, I tend to spin my, spin my Angora a little bit thicker on the thick side. Um, not heavy, but just thicker than what typical Angora spun. Um, and so this one I'm going to spin a little bit thinner because, again, I have a project in mind for it that I want to work on. And so I will film some of that. And um, I won't film it all, but I'll just show you some of that. And then I'll hop back on here to end out the video. Okay, guys, this is the um, row leg that I made from the, co or the um, clipped fiber. And what I'm going to do, this is my Spinolution Echo, and just going to grab it. And again, I'm going to make this yarn, um, these two bobbins, I'll probably fill two bobbins, a little bit thinner than what I typically do. I want this to be um, more of a DK weight, sport weight yarn. Um, and I'm just spinning right from the end of the um, roll leg that we made off the carters. I have a little piece of hay in there. I'm going to stop and just kind of pick it out. One thing with when you do buy small farm yarn, you're going to find bits of hay sometimes. Um, and that just, you know, it's kind of the nature of the beast. Even when I had my fiber, um, when we had goats and alpacas and I had my fiber processed before, it even comes back from the processor from, with sometimes bits and pieces here and there. Not a lot. Um, and you can always just pick it out. And I have my wheel set on the highest um, ratio here, the, the biggest ratio on the thing, on the flyer head. And my biggest problem is I tend to want to, these, these wheels are so easy to spin that I tend to want to go quicker than what I should be going. Um, and Angora yarn, if you've never spun it, it does tend to be a little bit slick. Um, just because it's such a soft, luxurious fiber. And 
just working both my hands together, not letting anything out of my right or left hand that I don't want to go into my right hand. And this would be considered more of a uh, worsted type spin. Um, it's not a, it's not going to be as fluffy, airy. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the roll egg. Let me grab a handful of what we just did together, what I just showed you. And again, this is just the um, combed fiber. I'm going to do the same thing. And excuse the squeak, I need to replace, I'm going to actually do a video on that. I have them on order. There's a little thing I need to replace, um, a felt pad on my wheel and so that's why it's squeaking so I need to get that replaced but you will be seeing that because I want to do a video on how to do that and I just attach it now this has not been carded this was just combed right off um, marshmallow just a few minutes ago and I am just working with that have a cat coming in <laughs> behind me. I don't think you can see her on video yet, but she's trying to get in my lap right now. So that is how I spin my combed or carded fiber. She's to try decided to try the other way. Hello, Neelix. No, nope, you can't come in right now. <laughs> and I do prefer spinning um, the combed fiber because it's a quicker process. There's no in-between. I can take it straight from my rabbit, once I've combed it, to my wheel. And that's that. Um, I did want to show you too. I did bring this was a skein um, that I finished um, last week. So this is a white skein. Kind of got ruffled. I, I went I've been to some programs recently. I've been to a library program and um, a spinning guild program. So all of my stuff has been in boxes. I am finally getting it out this week and I have a cat on my lap. <laughs> she wants to cuddle. But you can't right now, honey. There you go. So, um, this is three and a half. Nope. Yeah, three and a half ounces. So, remember, I took um, 0.6 ounces off that rabbit. So, this is, um, I would need to do four more rabbits to get this much yarn with that amount. Now, every rabbit gives me a little bit different. So, that's the Angora. I think, you, yep, you could see the halo. Um, and I also brought in, um, just because it was out there, I do sell the um, combed or carded fiber um, by the ounce. So if you're ever interested in that, it is on my website. Um, and I usually, if I have it, it's there. Um, if I don't, um, it usually comes back pretty quick because I'm usually always grooming. So that is the video for today. I hope this was helpful for some of you to see the process from start to finish. Um, again, it's, it's, it is time consuming to some degree, but you know, the rabbit took me 20 minutes. Um, the carding is, you know, depending on how much fiber you have, or if you combed it, then I wouldn't um, card it. I would go straight to the wheel. The spinning is going to be the longest part to get. Um, I have a huge basket full of Angora. This was another one we just did, but this is what needs to be, this was all clipped a couple weeks ago. So I need to, um, I need to card all of this. And then I have three more rabbits outside that I need to bring in today. And so this is going to probably end up, um, by the time I get done with all of this, it might be close to this three and a half ounces, um, with what I've already done here. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please click the like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Um, it does help me out with making these videos. If you have any comments or suggestions for video ideas or have um, questions of videos that you would like to see made um, or ideas, please let me know. Um, I would love to do that for you. I have quite a list right now that I am working through. Um, the So there are more coming um, possibly later this week actually I've got one that I'm in the middle of making right now so um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you're creating something have a great day